again, you're with us here on Aspire. Now let's start talking about tech. Among all the happenings of the week, Samsung has launched a new lineup of TVs. That's right, and Nokia has shown up with yet another Lumia for the Indian market. Here's Anant Vivedi from the tech scene. Samsung just announced this massive 75-inch LED TV. So what's unique about it? It's a smart TV. Now, as you can see on the top left, there's this regular TV running. And other than that, there's a whole set of options out there, various apps, there's Angry Birds, YouTube, Facebook, a whole lot of things. So how do you interact with this TV? Couple of options, there's a regular remote, there is a smart remote which also has a touchpad and you can give voice commands through this. You can see there's a mic right here. So that's one of the options. The third option is gesture control, which actually works just by waving your hand up in the air. There's a camera on top which recognizes the hand. And as you can see, I'm waving my hand. I can go and click on any one of the apps and get that running. Now this is a new way to interact with the TV, but I wonder how many couch potatoes would actually like to keep the hand held up for that long. That's one thing. The other thing is, because it uses the camera as a sensor to recognize your hand, this will only work in a well-lit environment. Now most of us watch our TVs in a dimly lit room, you know, you want the whole ambience to be nice and dim so you can get completely immersed in the TV viewing experience. In that scenario, the gestures won't work. So all in all, it's a great design, love the form factor, it's actually a beautiful TV, but where is the smart TV side is concerned, I don't know how many people will find that useful. While we are waiting for the much hyped Lumia 920, Nokia has been busy releasing the Lumia 510 in the Indian market. So what you are seeing here is a nice 4 inch form factor, uh, we actually love the design of this phone, it's, it's very simplistic, it's got a nice curve around the edges, it's got a nice rubberized back and the best part is it's got changeable back covers. Now this is something that's part of Nokia's DNA and I'm glad that they brought this onto the Lumia devices. Other than that it's priced just below 11,000 rupees so it should be very popular amongst the youth. On this edition of Aspa, we've been talking about vintage fashion, how you can pull things out of the past and bring it into the future. And when you talk about the future, there's wearable technology. That's it has right. been restricted to concepts by and large, but it's now nice to see concepts turn into reality, isn't yes, it? Yes, in fact, Cute Circuit, a UK-based company, is known for the way they manage to marry fashion with technology. In fact, their clothes probably have more circuit than they do cotton. A concept turned into reality. This is where technology meets fashion. Cute Circuit, a UK-based company, is the creator of these clothes. Embedded with LED lights, sensors, a battery pack to bring together something unique. Designed in-house, these clothes are washing machine friendly, are comfortable to wear and are gaining popularity. We catch up with Francesca Rosella, the co-founder of Cute Circuit, to tell us more about her creations. Uh, well, one of my favorites is the Galaxy Dress, and it's a dress that we designed for the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. And uh, the museum asked us to show the future of clothing, and we say, well, wouldn't it be amazing if in the future clothes can just change color to suit your mood and uh, the, the situation in which you are. And so we designed this dress with 24,000 LEDs. It's like the largest wearable display in the world, and it just changes color like every minute and every hour. And uh, it's just amazing, we spent six months embroidering LEDs on the fabric. This one well, is very interesting because it was born by a really basic need, it was my personal need. The image is a little black dress, looks really pretty, and you have the SIM card from your phone. You just plug the SIM card into the label of your dress, where there is a little SIM card receptacle, and the dress has your phone number. And when your dress rings, <laughs> which is a new notion, you answer and you just answer doing this. And there are sensors here that capture your movement. So they know that you're answering and then you talk so you don't look like you're completely crazy. It still looks like you might be holding a phone nearby your ears, right? And then when you're done talking, you say goodbye. And you just release the hand down and the dress closes the communication. So basically you have a quad band mobile phone that works everywhere in the world, but it's soft.
You know, that looks like fun. I'd like to have one of those t-shirts. Well, imagine if you were wearing it to a party and then suddenly halfway through it runs out of charge. It would be like a Cinderella story. <laughs> but there's always a charger handy, yeah? You can carry a lot of portable chargers. I'm really going to carry my charger to a party. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But it's a great concept. And uh, we come back after a very quick break. When we return, the indulgences of an F1 driver. You don't want to miss this.